Hey there, friends. You ever see the program Take Me Out? Well, there's a lot of international versions of it. For example, here's one from the Dutch version. So it's kind of low quality. Apologies about that. But the guy comes out and then he's trying to impress all these women who are standing ready at the buzzers to count themselves out. Johnny's a vrolijke jongen and uh, so is he still basic. The host just called him basic. And there goes everyone. All right, everyone is everyone is gone. Why are you so hard on him? You called him basic. Why are you smiling and clapping? Oh God, he's pulling something straight out of r slash nice guys. I'm a sweet and cozy guy. If you're interested, send me an email. Anyway, that's a clip from the Dutch version, but we're going to be watching some of the Irish version and the Irish TV is terrible. 30 to 1, you gotta like those odds. Yeah, you would think so, but after looking at the last clip, I'm not so sure. Okay, here comes our first Irish contestant. There's yes. nothing here you don't like. You've done good, Ray. Oh, oh, that I think was he could be corrupted. You think he could be corrupted? <laughs> okay. I, I don't think anyone knows what to say. Me included. Ray, I really want to do the quagmire thing, but I don't know if I can pull that off. Leave it to me. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> that, that smile at the end, he's like, nailed it. Like, before the show, he went, right. If you don't bring up Quagmire and make me do my impression that I've been practicing on four weeks, you are off the show. I'll also kill you. <laughs> oh no, I jumped back and I accidentally heard the impression again. Would Mammy approve this for that? Oh, she would. Oh, is she in the audience? Is Mammy here? Yeah. Oh my god, she is there. This is all so awkward, this whole thing. He's just standing there. Even the hose just walked away from that one. He's brought a basketball and a skateboard for the talent portion. I'm very interested where this is going. What the hell is he gonna do? Okay, he's spinning a ball. No. Okay, this is kind of cool, actually. This is like something straight out of a Tony Hawk game. He's, he was going to give her the ball and she buzzed out. Okay, you take it instead. Now you're just holding the basketball. Well, she is the ball. You can't buzz her out or you're not getting your ball back. <laughs> oh my god, she thought she was being attacked. Okay, we got two left and one of them has him by the ball. Just, just the ball. Like, she has his ball. So, I think she's got it. My question would be, if I choose you, can I have my ball back? If you have a dream, what is it? Okay, uh, Maeve, what's your dream? He's my dream. Oh, very direct. But he's also like, I actually want the genuine information about you as a person. I didn't want that chat up line. You have no substance. Before you do, I'll tell you that one of our girls is missing a knuckle. What? Well, she better go find it. His life is gonna leave out. He took his ball back. <laughs> that was sly. Oh, he just, he, he was running away. He wanted to dribble his way over to the other lady to buzz her out. I understand. I'm a bit of a dribbler myself. Oh. Uh, what happened? Oh, I don't know. But it's just, it just... He asked her about the knuckle and she's just like, yeah, I don't know where it went. Lost it. You know, I put it down somewhere, just can't remember where. Oh my god, there's this clip and it's, it's not even at 360, but look at this confidence. Even though I can hardly tell it's a human, you can tell there's confidence there. Whoa, he did that little skip jump. That was odd. <laughs> oh, they're all buzzing out. It was the jump, wasn't it? Yeah, it's kind of understandable, I guess. And I can tell you, girls, you're going to be disappointed. Wait, what? Hold on, slow down. Was that you're going to be disappointed they buzzed out? Or the people who are still in, like, they're going to be just disappointed in him as a whole? You like tall boys? He's getting irritated. No, I like tall men, not tall oh. boys. Ooh, okay. <laughs> well, I like girls, not old women. Oh! Oh my god, he's fighting back! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was brutal! Alright, I'm someone who grabs the bull by the horns and every aspect of life, like, you know, put my head straight into it, like, and what? take risks. You're like, putting you know, your, your head in the bull? Okay, if you're into it. So if you're over someone with a nice balance of wit and charm and hostility. Alright. I just like. Um, he seems to be getting visibly pissed off just because they don't like him. Okay. You misinterpreted what I meant by that completely. Like. He's so defensive. I can I can feel the anger in it. Yeah. Let's go and talk to a couple of our girls and see why where they fall found. Fault. Jesus, the host can hardly speak after that. He's speechless. It's just the the thing on the face. That's all that was getting me. I love the accent. It's the only like thing accent. was the facial hair. One, why didn't you buzz out earlier then? And two, that again, that could be changed. I don't, I don't think they they understand that this isn't permanent. You know, it's not a permanent feature. Men don't 
come out of the womb with beards. Sorry for that sentence. And sorry for breaking your heart if you believed it was true. My dad plays guitar, and All I right. have enough of that in my house. I furnish our way better than him. <laughs> Still. He does not care. <laughs> she, like, that, that's a valid excuse if you just hate the guitar, fair enough, but he did not like that answer at all. Oh, the first guy who actually wants to be touched by him. <laughs> I mean, you don't get a choice anyway. I assume you have to sign some kind of disclaimer as you're going on the show. Like, just so you're aware, Ray is going to start feeling you up throughout the whole audition. Reasons they gave for, like, turning off their lights were a bit ridiculous. Like, I never heard Stairway to Heaven and my dad <laughs> plays the guitar. Like, I don't know, I just didn't get it. Like, I think that's really valid, to be fair. And I don't think she buzzed because she didn't know the song Stairway to Heaven. He looks like he just took a wrong turn. Like, he was trying to go to the bathroom and he accidentally wandered out here. 15 lights off, 15 lights remaining. You happy? Very happy, yeah. Yeah, you like what you see? Yes. Look at the, look <laughs> he had to think about that one. If Shrift has hair can stand like that, we'll see what else. Why do they always make sexual innuendos? I'm just walking away, sorry. I just get... This show annoys me so that... Like, it's not really annoying, it's just uncomfortable. Much like me standing over here. I'm gonna stay here for the rest of the video. He's a breadhead. A breadhead? What does that mean? Okay, you've got my attention back. I'm coming back. You can't keep a slice of bread in the house. <laughs> Actually, mean? when I was young, he used to bring bread to bed. He used to bring bread to bed? I'm sorry, what? Are there any loaves of bread here at the lights that might be interested in? No, I think they're all women, unfortunately. That's unlucky. A lot of them are going out. They don't like that he, he likes bread, like, a lot. And it's kind of understandable. Like, I like bread. But I don't say, oh, bread time, and then head to bed with bread. It's a weird sentence. This little picture they're zooming in at at the end. Why? <laughs> this is my reaction when they said he's a bit of a breadhead. Here's your microphone. Oh, yes, oh, yes, my name is Willie Lee. They caught him off. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't doing that great. Well, there was only two left after that sing song, so they kind of had to, I suppose. Okay, so now he has to pick between two of them, but I think he gets to ask them one question, and if it's not about bread, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I'm just putting that out there right now. I think my fear would be that I'm not walking down that ramp with you tonight. Oh, look at that for smooth. That wasn't even sexual. That's a surprise. Tripping down those stairs is one of the big ones. <laughs> that wasn't as smooth. It's like, I don't know, falling down stairs, that's like my biggest fear ever. Like those ones specifically. Normal stairs, fine. Those ones though. <laughs> Trisha and Niall, you two. And, I, and he's, he's a good height for you? Perfect. Yeah. He just decided he was perfect. <laughs> So they always send them off to this weird makeshift bar they have behind stage called Shifters and just make them have the most awkward date ever. I was telling her about my fear of flying and she was telling me about her fear of dogs. Wait, so she lied? Her greatest fear wasn't? Not going down the ramp with him? That would be the date over right there. Like, you can't start off on such a huge lie. <laughs> Man, I miss her already. Seems like only yesterday we were looking in Switzer's Christmas window, picking out toys and putting her on Santa's knee. Like, what does that even mean? He's so annoying. <laughs> what? He, look at him. Look at that face he's pulling. All right, we got the new guy. Oh, my God, this swagger he's got coming out. Oh, my God. This guy's the total opposite of the last fella. Oh, oh no, he's just dancing spontaneously. There was no intro to this. He just started going whoop. <laughs> Here we go everyone It was kind of weird because that was like when he walked out. He was dancing too. They hate this dance. They liked the other one He's making direct eye contact with the camera. It's really intense. I'm just staring back at him. We're having this weird Like staring contest somebody good is good. Like if you know somebody from inside I feel bad because he's like he's 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 getting a bit flustered and they're all buzzing out. He's under pressure thoughts and Shannon, stop it! Stop throwing him around the place, what are you doing? The host is just like, okay, you're getting a lot of attention now, but I could destroy you in unarmed combat. I could just fling you off the stage. Is a former European karate champion. Oh, one of them is a karate champion? They keep threatening him with physical combat. Look, he's trying to run away, but the host won't let him. He's reminding him again that he is in control. He's very handsy, isn't he? He keeps rubbing him. Oh no, he looks so lost and confused. He's actually pushing him out onto the stage. Shifter! Yeah, here they go on their date. I hate the way they say that. <laughs> I'm pretty attracted to her, that's why, like, I want to choose her first place in the first place. Okay, literally nothing happened on that date. They're just like, yeah, we talked about dancing a lot. Oh my god, what? Jesus, give him a chance! Relax. Relax on the buttons, will you? Stop touching him. <laughs> kind of 
looks a bit old and he's baldy like me da and no. oh my god that is brutal jesus christ you could have just said not your taste it's just the hair the lack of i mean i'm sorry look i think you should get a hairbrush <laughs> what oh my god okay he's biting back now i mean she does have plenty maybe they could share i have to confess I have a soft spot for baldies. <laughs> oh, yes. I, she could have worded that so much better, though. The correct answer was, I have a soft spot for a bald spot. Oh, a little video presentation that he's prepared. <gasps> he's watching Judge Judy in the background. <laughs> That's a plus for anyone, right? Right? I have 400 DVDs, and I have them all in alphabetical order. Oh, my God. Why, why, why are you highlighting this stuff? They must talk for, like, an hour, and they cut out the worst parts, for sure. Oh, God, there's only one left, and, and it's the one that loves the bald spots. Oh, no, now we don't get the talent portion, because they, there's one left, so they're matched up. I thought she buzzed out at the last second there to, to try and get out of it. Very nice girl, and very easy to talk to. I'm a chatterbox, so I'll talk to anybody. He's a really nice guy, but it didn't really go how I thought it was going to go. Oh, it didn't work out. Well, fellas, it just turns out you can't get by with just a bald spot alone. It's a darn shame. Really should have looked at the date before I shaved in the bald spot, but I just thought it was in. Jesus, he's ruining his shirt at this point. He's pulling the clothes off him with those hands. Oh, he's falling over. Yes. Oh, oh no, he's he's faking. God damn it. Thought a heart attack just struck him and they'd have to get a new host. And off they go in glorious 360p. I don't think that even is 360p. It says it is, but I think it's a lie. What's he playing? Is this just royalty free? This is Kevin McLeod. So he wasn't plucking the right strings for you he in that wasn't, case. I'm sorry. All right, okay. Everyone fake laughs. <laughs> Except for that woman. She was not impressed. Yes, talk about charity. You can't buzz out if he's talking about charity because he'd look like a dick. Wait. Oh, no, I was wrong. Okay, we got our last contestant here. He's got a suit on. He gave a casual wave. He's got a blurry face. Some people are very into blurry faces. Um, it just looks a little bit too... <laughs> sophisticated. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That was the best way of saying that, given the context. But, like, you can't blame him for wearing so many layers, because, like, he needs them when the guy's all handsy. You gotta wrap up. I'd go there looking like Joey wearing all of Chandler's clothes to make sure he couldn't get anywhere near me. Oh, he's gone in with the two hands. Even his reaction when he grabbed him by two hands. I probably burst a few pimples in front of anyone. He's talking about bursting pimples. And now he's playing guitar with a helmet on. It's always good to have a helmet on when you're playing guitar in case you... You get hit by a truck while you're playing. I do the same thing. There's one woman left after that guitar. Oh god, they're gone. Oh no. Oh Jesus. What was it? It was it the helmet. Because I'm gonna be honest, I tried to feign because I, I thought I like I'm new enough to guitar and I thought he knew what he was doing, so I tried to go along with it, but I, I actually do think that was a bit strange. Too tidy for my liking. What? Too tidy. Okay. Make sure the next time you do a house tour, your house looks like shit, and maybe then I won't buzz you out. Idiot. These what? girls don't know what they're missing. Come here, give us a little, give us a little cuddle. No, stop! Get off of him! What is this guy's problem? But you know, I think that's all the heartbreak I can take for today. But I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you around. Please don't buzz me out. My heart can't take it. Uh, leave a like or a comment if you got the chance. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye now. Bye. Bye for now. That was weird. I usually don't mess that up.